Hello and welcome to BullseyeTipsOnline.com uh, Today's video tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to download something from the web to our computer and if you're uncomfortable doing that then I understand that because I remember the first time I tried to download something and how very skeptical I was in doing so. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do that. Today what we're going to download is Composer which is a web page building software. It's uh, open source which means it's free it's also one called an HTML editor, and what you see is what you get, a WYSIWYG. Composer is a zip file, and this is kind of nice because this way we can show you how to quickly download something from the web to our computer, and also how to open a zip file. Okay, so we'll just get started. To get to Composer, we just go to whatever browser you're comfortable with, and I'm going to go to Google. Just notice the spelling. starts with a K. Z E R and just do a quick Google search. Generally it will come up first and there it is. So we'll just left click right here. And the first call to action as you can see right here it says download. And if you wave your mouse over the top you can see that it says download composer 7.10 for Windows. I'm just going to go ahead and left click this. And the window will open up. Right here as you can see is it says composer 7.10 and right there it says it is a zip file and if you look at the folder icon right there you will see a little zipper now a zip file just means that they have compressed everything in that file and they do that in order for it to be a uh, quicker download this is nice because this way you can see just how easy it is to unzip a file now we're just going to make sure you have save file click make sure that button is pushed and just push OK and we're going to download this right to our desktop. Now it says desktop up here. You may want to click desktop and then it says compose This will be the file name. Just push save. Left click this. At this point we are we are downloading Composer and it is downloaded. We will go ahead and just double click this and another window is going to open up. You need to look for an extract all files. Now it may be here, it may be off to the side, but because it is zip, we do need to extract it. So just hit and left click this and extract all the files. Now select a destination and extract the files. Make sure it says desktop in here somewhere. It'll have the name of your computer and Composer 7.10. If it doesn't say desktop, then hit the browse button and search through and make sure you hit desktop OK and extract right now we are extracting all the files and it is you can see how long it takes it's going to take just a few seconds and we're done now we're just going to go ahead and go right to our desktop here we are and here are your two files now this is the composer and it's still zipped and this is actually just a shell so you can just go ahead and grab this and we'll just run zip this right into the recycle bin we won't need that because we do have the composer unzipped right here and we're just going to double click the and now this is all the ingredients in the file we just downloaded and yes I know this is a lot we're going to open this up and what we're looking for right now is this right here and this is the application we are just going to make a shortcut so we don't have to open this folder every time we come to Composer so we'll just go ahead and wave your mouse over the top of the little icon right click this go down to where it says send to and then we'll just slide right over and go to where it says desktop create shortcut just go ahead and left click that and then we'll close this up and we're going to go right to the desktop again and here is our composer emblem whenever we want to start working on a web page to build a web page we would just come and open up composer and in order to do that we'll just double click this and we will push run and here is Composer. Now this is a Composer Tips window. This will open each time that you load Composer. We'll just close this and this is what a web page editor looks like and we will be getting to know this quite well. It's very comfortable, very easy and very capable web page building software and we will start in the next videos going through and show you just how quickly and easy it is to work with the software and build your own professional looking web pages. Okay, well thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video.